This is produced as part of the ongoing work on the website, the way, the truth, and the life dot net. It's uh, Saturday, November 6th, and I'm here in the Caucasus Mountains in southern Russia. I was going to listen to uh, preaching. I turned on uh, <clears throat> the computer onto Brother Stair and heard him say there were no dinosaurs because they weren't in the Bible. Well, that really uh, is a sad situation. I run into the same thing with Harold Camping. I uh, very much uh, like to listen to good preaching and good news. I have trouble with tinnitus that's ringing in my ears and what I find peace to go to sleep at night to, to, is to listen to the news like shortwave I hear I get BBC or listening to Harold Camping or something like that but it really is sad when they violate the spirit of truth and use the Bible which is the best description that uh, was available uh, to the minds of the uh, men that wrote it. But to say that creation happened so many uh, thousand, five hundred years or two thousand or whatever is nonsense. One of the operational definitions of insanity is to reason perfectly on a false premise. The description of a thing is not a thing. If you write uh, corn on a piece of paper and put it in the ground, it won't grow. People that I've listened to on the radio, it's becoming really a problem. I, uh, I have, <clears throat> here's a, I uh, listen to Pete Peters once in a while. I, I don't get him here. I did last year, but you can pick up some uh, nonsense there, uh, too. That uh, I used to listen to Gene Scott, but he got off in the goofiness with numerology and the pyramids. But then he died, and uh, he's gone. Uh, I Once in a while here, I get a re replays of J. Vernon McGee, God Rest His Soul. I remember listening to him before, I don't know, he's been dead for maybe 15 years or so, but uh, a very soulful man with a sincere heart. None of them were producing home churches, but they, uh, especially J. J. Vernon McGree, there was a, a very deep love of God and love for people that loved God. And uh, <clears throat> I, I have appreciated Brother Stair because he talks about current issues and he talks about Israel. And uh, I appreciate that. Harold Camping with his uh, The World is Going to End uh, Next Spring uh, is a sad situation for me. He's very good with the Bible, but he takes things literal that, again, in this regard, what Paul said is the truth. In God, in him, we live and move and have our being. The Bible is a description that men wrote down as best they could from what they understood. It's not a goofy thing like a single document uh, that uh, the uh, Church of the Latter-day Saints is founded on, or Islam is founded on, that some uh, megalomaniac uh, put down to s satisfy his own uh, drives and uh, interests. At any rate, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> 
Yeah, I've, I've mentioned them all. It's unfortunate. Uh, the reality is uh, that we live in a world that isn't created and isn't destroyed. Our world is destroyed, but the matter, space, and motion are eternal. And to me, we're a very important part of God. Operationally, I define God as physical reality, not created, not destroyed. Matter isn't created or destroyed. Space isn't created or destroyed. And the capacity for motion isn't created or destroyed. It's eternal. And it, things are formed like vortex rings and particles that uh, build up. Uh, it, uh, the reality is uh, that the probability of stability in this fluctuation with uh, objects forming and the density getting low because they're condensed, <clears throat> it has to do with degrees of freedom. As the particles get wound up, there's more degrees of freedom so they can compact the energy more and it gets to a point where there's collisions and explosions and uh, things like this and then there's another contraction and it goes on forever. But to have a planet stable with the conditions that life can evolve, that's a miracle of truth and that intelligence exists in God's body that's a miracle of truth we are like cells in a body we are made from God's stuff and we can grow to love ourselves our friends our mates our children our community, our society, the state, and we can do our best to host that spirit of truth and one wonderful goal, heaven. I operationally define things. God is everything that exists and not created and not destroyed. Forms made out of God change. They come into being and go out of being. To me, spirit is outlook. Now we talk about the heart and they've just discovered that the heart has nerve cells uh, just like in the heart and it really does seem to function as a part of our being. And it also seems with uh, Rolfing of Ramida, Rolf, if there's anything to it that the, the neuromuscular reality might store experiences that can cause us uh, difficulty, muscular difficulty. But <clears throat> not to get distracted into that. Spirit is our outlook. The spirit of truth is looking for truth. The in, in investigating reality, not reading about it, investigating it, learning. about ontology, about social group living, about individual, about the brain, about the body, physiology, about the cells, the cytology, about the, the DNA, the chemistry, about physics, about nuclear, about uh, the cosmos. Uh, this is reality to be studied. And the, the heaven is that which can exist in God's reality, the best that can exist. And that's what we're working for. And salvation uh, is, to, uh, first of all, um, sanctification is to be separated from the worldly culture, like Abraham said was sanctified, separated from the child sacrificing cultures around him. He was separated from the world, that's sanctified. Salvation is to put something into the future that stays something. If we have that spirit that Christ had 
and it lives in us that we can love enough to care for others and it, that spirit goes on living the continuity of life in God's body, then part of us goes on. But the greatest goal that we could have is to work together to create uh, healthy children, a healthy next generation in the hopes that that will go on and they will be able to uh, escape from this planet before it is destroyed is just part of nature. So the heaven is what can be. The soul is a culture. To be born again is to take God's culture, to invite that spirit of truth that Jesus spoke about. The, uh, the spirit of truth that he died. It's better he go away. He will send the spirit of truth. We're no longer uh, subject to memorization we're no longer subject to just uh, learning a description of things and going to a priest who goes to some God for us. Or we, in God, we live and move and have our being. And we can make this a better place, bring more of heaven on earth. So our soul is our culture. Our spirit is our outlook. Our salvation is that part of us it's the spirit of truth lives in that we can project into the future. And the greatest goal that we can have is to save intelligence in God's body by building the technology to escape our planet and our solar system and spread life in the, in the universe. Thank you. To enjoy fellowship and study and sharing what the spirit of truth uh, reveals to us, the uh, home church is a perfect setting. And the Bible is a wonderful foundation not to be taken more than a description that the godly men who spoke the truth with what they had available to them to talk about. Ezekiel couldn't very well talk about atoms and molecules, but as best as he could, he talked about the, what he understood in truth. So I've made, uh, a, I made one video and posted it on YouTube on starting a home church. But to give more detail, I then made uh, a three-part series on um, Christian Home Church, parts one, two, and three. It would be some help to you if you have some interest. I would encourage you. And I would encourage you to check some other videos out on the website, thewaythetruthandalife.net. It's a work in progress. There's many things need done. I don't know if I'll live long enough to finish it. I'm 72 now, but I'm still kicking. I spent nine years, spring and fall, here in Russia, teaching English with parallel English-Russian Bible in my home here and in the children's library. My goal was to establish a home church and help the two by two ministers and provide a place for them. These efforts seem to have failed. Seeds are planted, but at any rate, it's God's business. I do what I can. Thank you.